Next up uh, is Nielsen. In case you haven't taken note, Nielsen has graciously created a number of custom data slides to give us an uncommon sense of the consumer. These are being rotated on big screens throughout the day, and they show some smart data on things advertisers want to know and about current and future opportunities for digital ad spending. Um, with us here right now is Amit Seth. Executive Vice President of Global Media Products at Nielsen to help explain and share more insights from the company. Amit, come to the stage. Thank you, Ramon. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 All right, it's uh, close to lunchtime, so I see the energy dying down a bit, uh, but that's okay because my, my presentation is really interesting, so it'll bring it back for you. I think. So my name is Amit, Amit Sait. I am at Nielsen. Um, I have a funky job at Nielsen. I'm in the media products organization, but I'm also in the center of uh, bringing our consumer business and our media business together, which I will talk to in just a second. So for those people who don't know Nielsen, uh, we have two major divisions, the buy division and the watch division. And the spin that I put on the slide for you all today is the big data version of Watch and Buy. So Buy is all about when you go to a store or when you go online for e-commerce, what do you buy? And Watch is about when you consume content, when you consume media, what do you consume? And, and, and for Nielsen, both of those represent very big data opportunities, as in bringing in big data, analyzing that, and putting it out in front of our customers and our partners. A couple of examples of uh, what big may be, if you take all the user-generated data that Facebook processes, it will take 33 years for us to generate how much data we consumed from one Walmart alone last year for a buy business. 30 trillion, not bytes of data, 30 trillion, in essence, transactions of customer buying that we processed, and that's one of many, many entities that we process that data with. Of course, on the TV side, uh, we look at all TV buying. On the online side and, and mobile side as well, we are tracking billions of consumers and what they are watching and buying. So what really is big data? Many people have tried to define it, and this is not my definition. I've taken uh, a Gartner definition from last year, uh, taken the amendment of that from IBM and put a little bit of a spin on it uh, myself. Um, the concept of the three V's have existed for a long time, right? Uh, we're, we're talking today that big data is not just when data is big. Big data for us is about the other two V's being included in it, as in, is there variety in the data? Is there, is there in terms of where it's coming from, types of data assets, is there disparate uh, data types that come in into the warehouse? And then velocity is an important one as well. How quickly is that data being generated? And importantly, how quickly is that data being processed? And then the Nielsen spin on, on this uh, big definition is the relevance aspect of it. Can you derive relevance from that data? And if you can, only if you can, does it become big data for us? And that's what we are all about. And the rest of this presentation today, I will try to walk you through three or four, I have 10 minutes, six odd minutes left, three or four examples of how we are processing big data at Nielsen. The first one of which is uh, Nielsen Online Campaign Ratings. Randall this morning talked about how there is a need for us to have a common set of measurement, common metrics of measurement across all the platforms. Uh, Nielsen Campaign Ratings as a larger suite of products starting with online campaign ratings for the first time last year, brought GRPs to the marketplace for digital advertising, both videos and display. The GRPs that we brought in was brought not just by using a panel, but collecting impression level data for every ad that is served, and also collecting from a suite of data providers we have, starting with Facebook, information on who saw the ad. This, in essence, is the starting point of what we call our reach strategy. And the important aspect of it is there's a lot of data flowing in from partners like Facebook, but also there is the aspect of real time in terms of delivery of, of these metrics. 
Uh, one of the things, I'm a Silicon Valley guy, as many of you know here, coming in into Nielsen, I have brought in into the company in a big way is, how do we API enable, web services enable everything that we do? Rather than getting the pretty reports that you get from Nielsen hitherto, you are going to see a big focus on us delivering in real time into your operational systems, integrated into your ad optimization system, this data that comes out and gives you, for starters, what the reach is of the campaign that you, read, that, that, that you, that you brought about. We then took this, took our TV ratings data, and built an overarching product on top of that called cross-platform campaign ratings. We are now able to give you the ability to understand when you, as a marketer, executed a campaign, how and what was the reach on TV, on online, digital, including mobile, and then importantly, what the unduplicated reach was of that campaign across the platforms. The next example I want to talk about is what brings a watch and buy together and therefore makes the big data in terms of the variety dimension pretty valuable here. Um, as you know, our watch business has viewing behavior. Our buy data gives us spending behavior. We bring that together for marketers and we are able to look at what kind of customers are flocking to the content that is being shown to them. 80% of the sales are being created from 33% of the top spenders. That's not big data. That's, that's ordinary data analytics. The important thing here is that we are able to combine buying habits of each one of those people who viewed either ABC's program or the competitor's program and bring about analytics with Jerry Wang at the last upfronts talked about, uh, Jerry Wang being the president of uh, ABC Sales, talked about premium demographics that come to ABC. In this case, their show, compared to another one which had the same GRPs, that has the same reach, was able to attract people who are significantly higher uh, spenders when they go uh, to dine in the, in the evenings. The next one I want to talk about is how we're bringing the offline world to the online world. We now have launched television programming-based precision marketing where you're able to go in and, and get audiences for what you want to achieve in terms of uh, your marketing criteria. We're able to bring in the concept of certain shows that you advertise as a marketer that doesn't allow you to extend that reach out in the online side, we now give you the ability to say, I want to target or target people with different kind of TV viewing behavior online and digital. Conversely, we are able to give you duplication. We are able to look at what shows you've advertised on television and give you a similar or same audience when you bring that campaign to the digital arena. It's pretty powerful. One of the last examples I want to talk about is social. Social is that, if you look at the four elements of big data, is that data set that I think most closely starts to fall together in it really being big data. Uh, television for us, as you know, Nielsen has been a long-standing business that, that we have uh, been in. We looked at social and we saw that there is a big phenomenon happening on television with respect to what people st start talking about shows that they're watching. We've ascertained that up to 10 to 15% of tweets on any given day are about some kind of TV viewing. That's pretty big. 18 million uniques commented about their TV viewing in the last quarter of 2012. We went out and acquired a company, Social Guide, and we forged uh, an exclusive partnership with Twitter where we are now able to deliver this concept of social TV ratings. The concept of understanding when people are watching, not only giving you the reach, but also giving you what the social media is giving us in additive intelligence about those viewers. Be it the demographics, be it what in the program was liked, what in the commercial was disliked, and in essence, give marketers a new suite of tools that are socially enabled, that allows you to plan your, uh, your earned media, that allows you to extend your paid media to social. It allows you to better plan, it allows you to better reach, it allows you to better execute on the returns of your advertising using social media. 
to wrap up, um, Nielsen's all about bringing offline world and the online world together. This is a big focus forward. This is why I joined the company. This is what I'm most excited about with Nielsen. And we bring that out with all kinds of, not just pretty reports, to say it again, but interfaces to your applications that allows us to bring you to better planning, better execution, and better measurement of your campaigns. Thank you.